Hello everyone and welcome to Making Interstellar Redux. Today we are at our brand new club. We've managed to find one. Um, January of 2018 it took us to, to find a new team. And that team, as you would have seen from the thumbnail, is Ajax. Now I'm very excited to be at Ajax. Um, it's a club that I quite like in real life. I've got actually got an Ajax shirt. So if we ever get to any finals or competitions, I'll be donning that shirt. Um, and I'm very excited to get on with this team. Now... I've come into this. I've joined, joined Ajax, where they're predicted to finish first. Um, they've, I've come here, and we're 17 games in the season, halfway through, and they're currently sitting in ninth, which is really, really poor for a club as good as Ajax and with the quality that Ajax have. So, we'll be looking to rectify that. We'll be looking to get them as high as possible this season, and then building on like selling the foreign players and bringing in the Dutch players next year. Um, so this is really about trying to get ourselves in as good a, pos as good a position as possible. Now in this league um, for qualification, um, you need to get around 7th to qualify for the European Places playoffs. So if we can reach there, which is very doable, I'll be optimistic. Um, as it stands, we're only 6 points off 5th. Um, the title seems out of reach though. And if you look at the a table PSV had started to dominate this division, so we need to put a stop to that. Uh, but with the squ uh, current squad that I actually have, I'm, I'm confident we might be able to do something. Now, before I show you the squad, I'll just show you the transfers I've brought in. And the only two players I've brought in are Luke um, Castanos, I think that's pronounced right, a very good striker. Um, he's actually a FC20 striker, he's been very good since this day safe has started. And I'm hoping we'll be able to um, continue. He'll be able to continue his good form with us here. And I've also brought in um, a backup for him. Robin van Persie has come in on a six-month loan deal from Manchester United. Uh, despite him aging, he's still got great mentals and great technical stats, and he'll be a very, very good backup if we ever need him. So let's get into the team tactics. You'll be very familiar with. Um, it's exactly the same tactic that I donned at Inter Milan. I'm hoping we can use this tactic wherever we go. Um, and if I just pick the team, um, I'll get us into the first game. So unfortunately, <laughs> we're actually going to have to um, go with a pretty weakened defence to begin with because of injuries and suspensions. Um, I think that is the position we're weakest at. But we have got some very good players in this side. So let me just get the team selected and then I'll read it out once we've finished. Um, which is perfect. So we have Stankovic in goal, Bitolo, Leda, Van Ryn, Ridma at the back four, Thompson and Bolatti at the centre midfield pairing with Kishner, Anderson, Pabon and Castanos leading the line. Now if you look at their squad, they do have a fair few Dutch players. They currently have... 10 out of their first team, which is decent, so we can focus on them. Um, some of them are very good, Ricardo Kishner is quite good. A lot of the Dutch players they do have a good, so we only have one, what, um, seven, 14 t players to offload and replace, which is a lot less than we had at Inter Milan, to be honest. So let's not waste any time, let's get into this game. I'm very excited to be at Ajax, very, very excited. Um, never managed in Holland before. So I think it will be a good experience for me. And I'm just really looking forward to it. Let's get into this. We've got a first league game in the seat. First league game for us. And I'm hoping we'll be able to add to um, our success at Inter Milan with Ajax. As you can see, there it is. I quite like the way... I kind of want that to be full up of just different teams in different countries. And by the end of this series, I'm hoping that's what it will be. So as you know, as I mentioned in the last episode, this is now a mission to win the Mystic League titles, not the Champions League anymore, just league titles with an entirely domestic team. So uh, I'm going to be aiming to win the Eredivisie with uh, an Ajax team made up of purely Dutch players and once we've done that, that's when we move on. We're not going to worry about the Champions League anymore. But yes, yeah, so let's get into this. Um, our start lineup is picked, so let's go. Um, there we go. Let's get into this. Hoping we can go and we're not favourites for this, even though Hoven then are even worse than us. Um, I'm optimistic with this one. I'm not expecting the players to love me straight away. I don't speak Dutch yet. I speak Italian, but I'm not sure that will help them. <laughs> let's get into this. I'm excited. Come on, Ajax. Let's do this. As you can see, we're sitting in well ninth position, really. Hoven then are sitting down in 15th. 
I'm hoping we can get off to a kind of start, kind of, well, hoping this goes as smoothly as Inter Milan did. So let's hope for the best. So early stages in, we're not exactly playing great. We're still learning the tactic. They're still getting used to me. Um, but I'd expect us to do okay against... Oh, wow. That's not the start I was hoping for to my tenure, to my start, or oh, to my Ajax career. We dominated these early stages. Oh. And we're not even, we're slowly coming into it, but this isn't what I expected. I have to say. But obviously we've always got a chance when we've got the corner tactic, as he should score on his debut, that's a big chance. But it's nice to see we have actually come into the game a little bit now. Widmer plays it to Babon. Babon plays it. Why would you play it back that far? Bolatti now. Widmer. Babon. Oh, and it's out for another corner. A little bit of sustained pressure here from us. That's good. Babon. Bolatti. Anderson. Oh, and I think that's the highlight over. Yeah. It's quite clear that I've come into a team at low on confidence. Um. I'm hoping that we can kind of. I have, it's going to take a while for me to build up that confidence and get him playing what well, good football again. I think. As it's going, the first half is drifting away. And we're having we're not playing well. This isn't very good. I'm going to try and motivate him. I'm not sure with a team like this, um, bollocking him is going to help. And you see, their morale ain't great. And that plays a very big role in Football Manager. Oh, Bitolo now. To Krish, to Kishner. That's okay. He's got a... Yes! They responded to the team talk. He's got a goal in his debut. Great cross. It's, oh, beautiful. Kishner. Go up to the new boy. A lovely volley. And the keeper should do better. Room should do better. But we got the equaliser, which is what we wanted. Now we can build on this, hopefully. Stankovic now. You got wing backs open. Good man. Widmer now. To Pabon. Pabon plays it through. And he's got a Yes! He's got a brace on his debut. Lovely stuff. And that is good. I'm glad. Very glad. The only move us up to eight eighth, but a winning start would be lovely. We've really grown into this game. We started off so poorly. Stankovic launches it along to Pabon, but Brafield intercepts. Bolatti, well in. Widmer again. Van Rin. Widmer. Is it Widmer or Widmer? Someone tell me. Um, Stefanik. Roma. Wurtz. I'm a little bit concerned by the amount of space they've got on the ball. We don't seem to be doing much to get the ball back. But Thompson's intercepted that. Anderson, play it long to Pabon. We've got a striker on a hat trick here. Krishna. It's blocked. Got a corner though. We're always dangerous from corners. Widma. If Kishner. Oh, that almost was his hat trick. Back out to him though. It's not over yet. Oh, and he's saved it. That's a shame. Wow. Exciting times here. We're doing okay. We are doing okay. Now, Nikolai Thompson ain't playing great, so we're going to take him off. Um, Got to do Van Der Beek. I don't know why. I don't know who the best players are, but he's on the booking and he's not playing great, so I'm going to take him off. Van Ringen's playing terrible in centre back there, but I've not really got anyone to bring on in his place. So, with him over the corner here, Pabon. Oh, I really wanted to get that hat trick on his debut, that'd be great. Pabon now. Ah, that's a shame. Van der Beek, Widmer. And to Andersen, to Leda, to Bitolo. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Nothing comes of that one. Now, we're going to make another change here. Um, Luke Anderson. It will come off, I think. I'm going to be on because he's not playing very well with that lad. I'd like to be Van Persie as debut, but with Castagnolos playing as well as he is, and he's not even low on stamina, I can't really justify taking him off. Gunrin has recovered with his match rating, which is nice to see. Okay, Widmer now. That's a penalty! Now, I've set the penalties up so the best player is always taking them, but I'd hope that seeing he's on the hat trick, he would take it, but it's not. Atar won the penalty, and he's the one who's going to take it. Oh, that's a shame. It'd be nice for him to get a hat trick on his debut, but it's always more important for the team to win than it is for individuals. 
And that should settle it. It should be a 3-1 away win against um, here in Wien. My pronunciation of these Dutch teams is going to be all four, by the way. Lovely, lovely penalty. Great strike. But we've got a corner here at our... Later! 5-4-3-4-1-4-1. Three, four, one, four, one. <laughs> three, I scored two goals in three minutes again. And what a start to my career at Ajax. This is Spain. That's our... Lovely stuff. I'm going to make one more change just to uh, just for the sake of it. Um, Serrero for Balletti. I don't know why. Just for, well, just why not, you know. Vormo with the free kick. Blocks. What's going to happen here? Juiced and don't concede the second. And Laid is put into his own net. Hmm. That's disappointing. It shouldn't change the outcome of this game. And it won't change the outcome of this game. But it's a little bit disappointing. But it doesn't matter. 4-2 win still good. Almost five there. Do not make it four three. Thank you. Room launches it long. Bertolo to Leda to Kishner. But if Leda's our fourth choice centre back, he's done all right. And that's a big result for us. It's a good win, a good start, and you've done very well there. Well done, lads. Well done. Gives morale a boost. I'm very very happy. I'm very happy with that one. Gives us a chance of moving up the league, and I'm sure they'll be happy of that one as well. Castanos makes Ajax debut as he scored twice. Um, there he is. Ajax, that's our first win in five. My God, they have been bad this year. And we're just going to continue what we did at Inter and praise players when they play well. Okay, so that does wrap up this episode of Making Interstellar Redux. We'll co next come back. Um, I'm not sure when, actually. We've got Benfica in the Euro Cup. Uh, I feel like the, with the position we are in the league now, it's kind of important that we cover teams around us. Um, so looking at us, we've got Vitis and Groningen there. Unfortunately, we don't play them re soon. Um, so we'll come back for Feyenoord, and we'll also, and then after that we'll do the Benfica second leg. So I'll be visiting Benfica again in this series after beating them in the Champions League final. But um, yeah, next episode we'll be playing Feyenoord. Uh, as always, lads, thank you for watching. Um, if you did like this, um, I know it's a bit of a change, but please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, check out the rest of this series, hit subscribe, and I promise you, you will not regret it. My name's been Tom. My name's been Tom. My name's Tom. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Talk to you soon.